Look at this car. You know, we're after the storm. The roads have been cleared. We're ready to get back out on the roads. Uh, let's bring this car out, actually, into augmented reality and show you what I'm talking about. Because you hit the roads. The roads are clear. Visibility looks great, right? You think there's no problem. But then you get behind this guy. You know the one that doesn't clear the snow and the ice off of their roof? Well, all of a sudden, you've got little bits of snow and ice streaming off of the top of the vehicle. That affects your visibility. With this recent snowstorm, we got anywhere from, what, 6 inches to 10 inches to even 20 inches of snow and ice. And if you didn't clean off your, your car properly, now you've got slabs of snow and ice on top of the car. It's an unstable situation, right? That snow came down yesterday. There's actually a little bit of ice on the bottom layer. And as you're driving, the air pushing forward against that knocks it off. And you've got this big slab of snow and ice basically just hurling through the air about to hit your vehicle. You know, you have to act fast because this is going to happen fast and you almost feel like it's working in slow motion though. This is four feet by four inches, it's 100 pounds and it hits your vehicle with 10 tons of force. I mean, look what happens. Your vehicle windshield is smashed. This is a very dangerous situation and you know, even little bits can break off and hit other vehicles. You need to pull over to the side of the road, put on your flashers and then call for help. In a case like this, I think the real lesson learned here is, though, clean off your car ahead of time, right? Make sure you're not one of the ones leaving that big snow of a slab on top of your vehicle and stay safe for the rest of this winter. So these guys on this road here, West End Avenue in New York City, you know what your first order business is? Clear those layers of snow and ice off the roof. When's the last time you saw sunshine all across the southeast? There's not been a lot of it this season. You go back to December 1st, only four days in Atlanta, five days in Nashville. You've had completely sunny days. Charlotte, only six, only seven in Tulsa, Dallas, and Houston. Yes, we have not had a lot of sun. In fact, a lot of the rain and clouds that we've seen has also come on the weekend. I know you know it. So many canceled events, soccer games, football games, etc. cetera, uh, or at the very least, the kids come home super muddy. The last time we had a completely dry weekend in Atlanta, November 17th to the 18th, same thing in Raleigh. That was the weekend before Thanksgiving. So we spent this entire holiday period, basically from Thanksgiving through New Year's, with rainy weekends. Memphis, it was actually before Halloween, October 27th to the 28th. It's been very wet, but we're finally going to make it uh, very dry for a couple of days anyway. We've got no rain in the forecast all throughout the southeast here. As we look ahead to your Saturday and your Sunday, even better, it is warm, it is dry. We're going to have blue skies. Atlanta, look at that. Jacksonville, look at that. Now, the thing is, as you go out to take down all your holiday decorations, you're still going to be squishing in the ground. Very high soil moisture across the southeast because of the wet week the wet months that we've had, and it's going to take a while to completely dry things out. This is a great quote from the Weather Service in Greenville Spartanburg, and I'll just summarize it for you. 10 to 14 days, that's how long we need to go without rainfall for the round to really make a substantial difference and dry out significantly, Jim. The other thing, too. Weather kicking off the holiday week in Southern California. Look at this. I mean, from heavy flooding rain across the L.A. metro to this, and the San Bernardino Mountains, Snow Valley Mountain Resort reporting up to 16 inches of snow falling at the highest elevation. And this was just the beginning of what's about to be a very busy New Year's week. We are going out in 2020 fashion with two major storm systems this week. First, we have winter storm Ivy pounding the Midwest today. And then it'll be on to system number two, which will impact everyone from the plains to the East Coast. So here's number one. We watch that move along. And then number two is right on its heels coming up here. And we see snow. We see ice. We see heavy rain. We even see severe weather. You know, when all is said and done, more than a foot of snow will fall in some spots. The heaviest of snow concentrated in the Midwest, but the thing is, it's not just pure snow. There's also the threat of damaging ice, which can make for extremely dangerous driving additions over the next few mornings. And it might be enough to cause power outages as well. And where it's not cold enough for snow, get ready. We've got torrential downpours on the way, some of which could trigger life-threatening flash flooding. Wow. That's a lot, isn't it? Welcome.